Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you another really cool no setup card trick. So the way this one works is you could go up to Spectator, uh, you could have them shuffle the cards any way they like, and then they can pick any card they want from a shuffle deck. So let's say we go through and they were to pick this card from the middle, it doesn't matter which one it is. I'm going to be showing you guys the card, but I don't want to see it, so hopefully you guys can all see the card here. I'm going to go ahead, let's say we lose this into the middle of the deck somewhere like this, get the card nice and mixed up and then shuffle it again. So at this point, uh, what you could do is you would have the spectator, you can have them pick a random number. So the way you do this is you tell them to go ahead, riffle down the deck a little bit. So let's say they go here, and then you tell them to riffle down a little bit further than the face-up cards. So they go further than the face-up cards, you riffle it, you flip it over, and then what you do is you take a random number uh, using the amount of face-up cards. So let's say we go uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have 11 cards. This is a completely random number. You have the spectator remembering their card and also this random number as well. And you tell them what you're going to do is use that random number, snap your fingers, and from a shuffle deck, you can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The 11th card is going to be their card. So this is a trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. And if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so like I said, this is going to be a completely impromptu card trick. So you could have the spectators shuffle up the deck, and it doesn't matter because they can pick really any card they want from the deck. So let's say they were to go through, and they were to pick, like I said, another random card. Let's say this one from the middle. And in this case, they happen to pick the king of clubs. So from here, all you have to do is control this back to the top. So what I did was I just stuck the card in the middle of the deck, and I pushed it down. Got a pinky break just like that by creating that tension. It comes up here, I have the pinky break. And then I took it, and I just took all the cards above it, put it to the table, and now that card is going to be left on top. And then from here, uh, you have them remembering the card. Remember, you've already showed them the card. They're remembering that, and then you tell them that you are going to have them pick a random number. So the way you do this is you can have them, uh, you tell them they're going to riffle down the pack a little bit. So you tell them to go a little bit, they riffle down, and wherever they say stop, you know, you can take it. And you say, look, I'm going to flip this over, and now you can tell them, okay, we're going to riffle down a little bit further um, than the face-up card. So here are all the face-up cards. You get down uh, lower, they say stop wherever they want, but you just have to make sure you go past these face-up cards you flip that over as well and now what's going to happen is from these face up cards the card right below that card or for, uh, the face up cards that is going to be where their selections at so let's say we have the cards here and now whatever number this is you have them remember that as well or you can have them write it down whatever you want to do and you say okay look so this is going to be our random number so you could take the cards 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so you have 14 cards and then you tell them that 14 is going to be their random number and uh, so essentially what you have is their selection in the 15th position so what you have to do is make this uh, 14 so you put these cards you take them over you've counted them you put them face down like a normal deck and all you have to do is a double undercut and move just one of the top cards to the bottom so you tell them you know as you're misdirecting them, you're just going to be talking, and you tell them, you know, uh, you know, it's a completely random number. You had me say stop anywhere you like. Uh, you shuffled the deck, and as you're saying that, you just push over the top card with your thumb, pull it back, get a break, and then you're going to do a double undercut where you get a thumb break here, holding the deck in middle grip, moving half the cards from below the deck. Put that on top of the uh, the break here, and then you move all the cards on top of that. And now you're going to have the card in the 14th position. So you say, okay, you know what? Uh, like I said, you could have picked any number. And let's say you would you pick 14. So you take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And now in the 14th position is going to be their card. So this is a trick, guys. And like I said, it's completely impromptu. So you can do this with a borrowed deck. You can have the spectator shuffle it as well. Uh, so I hope this one works out for you guys, and as always, thanks for watching.